Hey everyone, welcome back to Epicenter Garage. The word for today is pivot, and that's what we have to do today because some of you may have remembered the last episode, I was working on my SVO Mustang and talking to you guys about it, and the headliner was sagging so bad it was on the top of my head and it had rips and things like that. So my plan for today was going to be to fix that headliner and take you guys through that whole process. I even ordered in the right tools, I ordered in the glue, I ordered in a new headliner which did not come today. So many of you guys can probably relate. You get all your parts and all this and that, and then you're missing one thing, which is kind of a major on that car, which is the headliner. So the word for today is pivot, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to turn a negative into a massive, I think anyway, massive, massive positive. Today we're going to build something very cool. And you guys may remember a long time, I think it was even the first episode, episode of Garage episode, I, was ta- I told you guys about that, you know, I'm going to show you what I do for a living, how I am luckily able to afford cars and my passion, and that's what we're going to do today. That is, that is happening today. To give you a little backstory as to what we're going to build now, around here, around my building here, we have, a, we have a ton of deer. And when I say a ton of deer, I'm talking like herds of deer, if that's even what you call groups of deer or herd, I would imagine that's probably the case. But mostly because of my wife. And when I say that, sweetheart, I love you, but you know, you know, she feeds the deer. And so what happens is she comes home in her pickup truck with five or six of those 50 pound bags of deer corn. And you know, does she pull them out? No. What does she do? She calls for me to come grab all these bags out and haul them from the garage all the way over here and then eventually feed to feed the deer, which is what I do. And of course, just like any guy, I start complaining and she hears that I'm under my breath and she's like, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to order you a garden cart. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I am not going to pull around a garden cart to feed deer out here. I mean, I'm not, that's just not me. And then I started thinking, what I am going to do though, is I'm going to build something freaking cool. I'm going to build the most butt-kicking garden cart you've ever seen. It's going to be motorized. It's going to be on tracks. It's going to be fast. And I'm probably going to get a chance to get on and ride it because you guys know I love anything that's motorized. And if I can get on and ride it, shoot, I'm sold. So that's what we're going to do today. And luckily, I talked to my good friend, Ben, who you guys might remember, Ben, Docker Pants Ben, Boop, right over here. In Dockers again, thanks. <laughs> yes, he is in Dockers today again. I'll, I'll shake your hand. <laughs> no, yeah, because you sucked me into it. I, I did. Well, yeah. you owe me today. I, I very well deserve it, and it's yeah. fine. And, and you're right when uh, you're telling that story about uh, you're going to build something. <laughs> yeah, you're darn right we you are. So yeah. screw, screw these headliner <laughs> tools. We're going to throw these things over, over here. And so now I don't think you've ever – now you've never – did you ever play with Lego and director sets growing up? Yeah, well, I mean, some, but nothing this intricate. So what we have here is a product line called Go Build It, and that's one of the things that I do is we invent. I've got the best employees you could ever ask for, and so we basically invent mechanical parts. We come out with parts, invent parts, you name it, so you can build. Think of it kind of like a rector set on steroids or high-end Lego set, so companies yep. use this stuff. And I'm hoping we have, I think we have all the parts here we need to build this thing and literally build Build this thing pretty dang quick. So, but we've got we've got our motors. Now we could build this thing with two motors, but why use two when we can use four? Four is better. Four always. is always better. So we got our motors. We've got our tracks, which you're going to get mm-hmm. started on. We've got our hubs. We've got our channel channel uh, 1201 blocks, which I know that doesn't mean anything to you guys, but these are like like think of these as like the building blocks of lego in a way and then we have uh plates here our tracks our idler wheels our gears you name it oh and our battery system so this whole thing is going to run on dewalt power with our brand new go build a smart battery i feel like i'm doing an infomercial here but we won't get too far into these things and of course this thing is going to be radio control ha yeah, don't so, get too technical. Let's uh, just get working. Know, let's, we got to get this thing going because, I mean, I literally have 600, well, 500 pounds or something of deer corn over there, which I'm not, I'm not going to be carrying that thing around. So we are going to be driving it around. So 
What you're going to do is you're going to start putting okay. tracks together. These things come in six pack. Now we have different kinds of tracks, so we're going to try these first. These are the rubberized tracks. They have rubber on the bottom. Put well, that together like that. More like. Put that. And so just like this. And now and what you'll do is you'll grab this little tool. You put it in like this. Put that on and tighten that just to where that nut gets kind of tight. And you just make sure that's still a little flexible there. So okay. you got to put together all those and then you'll put all those together. So it'll, it'll literally be like four feet, five feet long of trap. Okay. You get started on that. I'll get started on you these. You got those. I got that. And I'm going to get started on the motors. And so what we have to do here is, so we offer all kinds of different sizes of motors. Um, and so we are going to start, I'm going to grab these right here. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm going to dump out <laughs> all the hardware right uh, here. I'm glad I'm not the only old man. Oh, I tell you what, man, glasses. <laughs> what we're doing right here is I'm putting these mounts on the motors with these 27 to 1 planetaries. I think it's going to be fast enough. So Ben, what's one thing that your wife makes you do that you really don't like? No, you might not want to answer that. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. We have a fantastic relationship. <laughs> I do what she says, and she says what I do. Oh, well, <laughs> that's good. I can relate to that as well. So all these motors are done. So they're going to be ready to put in the channel. So on the Go Build a System, most everything starts out with channel, which we offer this in every single length you could imagine, all the way up to... Oh my gosh, probably four or five feet long to, to even very short ones. But this is the backbone of the build system. So what we're going to do is we now have to take these same mounts that we used for the motors here. We're going to mount them in the end of this channel, basically three mils. So we're going to you can see right here, put that in manually. But you know what? We're going to use, we're going to go. All right. So it looks like I have one of these almost done. So do I leave it? Just leave it lengthwise like this, or do you want me to connect them? Or uh, nope, that's perfect. Just that's perfect leave, right leave there. Like and then that. you let's get going on the other one. I'll get going on the other one. Yeah. So now, what this is going to allow us to do is going to allow us to mount one channel to another channel, 90 degrees from one another, and it's going to be powered by a Dewalt <laughs> battery. So what we have to do is we're going to put the motors in the channel, and we're going to run miter gears just like this, so we can run. 90 degree drives that will run out to our track system. When we, we first started developing Go Build It, we wanted to make sure that it basically everything, you know, was plug and play. You're not going to see me do any soldering. It's literally going to be plugging this into a motor controller, plugging the battery, mounting the battery mount on, putting the battery on, hooking up to the radio control system, and boom, you've got something that's, I mean, you can get on and ride and, and uh, or you know, obviously it's not just for for uh, writing on things. It's, it has a lot of industrial applications. So a lot of companies use this stuff for rapid prototyping. And these tracks right here, these track drives are gonna go right here on either side. The motors are gonna sit in here. So the tracks are gonna go right over the tops of these channels. So I don't want them too close. We're basically kind of building an H frame. So it's gonna be really strong. So we're gonna go five holes here. One, two, three, four, five. Line that up on the fifth hole. All right, next. So, so you right. got to put those ball bearings in there. Just, then, they just snap in? Well, yeah, they do. They're flange ball bearings. So you're going to snap those in, and then you're going to bolt those things to that. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking our hubs right here, and I'm putting them on our shafts. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space right here. I'm going to tighten that on right here because these are, I think these are 100 mil. And I'm going to do all four of these. We're gonna have four driven axles. And the cool thing about, like I said, man, I feel like I'm doing an infomercial here, but the cool thing about Gobilla is that these are um, a hex shafts so we can transfer power instead of being a round shaft that would possibly slip. These are actually the shape right here so we can transfer power from this shaft to a hub, to a sprocket. Tremendous amount of torque. Even the ball bearings that we use here, they're actually hex as well. So they'll line up with the hex pattern just like that. Now we're gonna take another hub right here. And now we have to do three more of them. It's all good. What happened? There should have been a washer on that one. Told you I'd have to ask for help. <laughs> okay, now I am gonna go ahead and 
Um, uh, let's see. Here. I'm going to go ahead and start putting the motors in. The shorter one we'll put in there. Okay, so quick update. You can see here we got the gear train in right here. Miter gears transferring the power, and then we were gonna we're gonna take these drives and put it on here, and then the tracks will go around it. So one down, three more to go on the motor input. This thing would have a ton of power with just these two motors, mm -hmm. but no, no, you know we got to go over the top. So yeah. four motors it is. Now the next thing we have to do is I'm going to let you start to put oh, no. these together. These are good. what's going to space off this board right here, which is going to take our load off of the frame. So then we're going to bolt these right here. Right. I am going to go ahead and Mischief. start installing the track drives right here. These are actually going to drive the tracks. So what's going to happen, these tracks are going to go around just like so. And those are going to drive. So now these tracks, like I mentioned before, they have the rubber on them. So this is for... Well, for off-road, you can run through grass and you know, on concrete and stuff like that. And we also have some tracks that do not have this on that are just hard plastic for really heavy loads, like over a thousand pounds. We, we may throw those on there as well. I've got a set down here that we could try. But for right now, I think these will, these will be suffice. Favorite YouTube channel? Favorite YouTube? Car related. Oh, man. Victory by design. Oh, yes. With Alan DeCadney. Alan, God, rest his soul. God rest his soul. Yeah. yeah. And he'd say, well, here we have a 25,000 <laughs> million horsepower and back in Le Mans. And oh, it's just, uh, you know, I, there's no way I can duplicate it. He was smooth. He was really, yeah. really good at it. What about you? YouTube channel? What am I Come wearing on. right here? One of the top channels out there. Absolutely. We love you, Johnny Carnage yeah. out there. Carnage Tyler. is awesome. Yeah, Hoobie's Tyler, Garage. Hoobie's Garage. Watch JR you know, go. The Wizard. Oh, Absolutely. Just... And of course, Euro Asian Bob. Euro Asian Bob. Bob, man. Bob picked up like a sub 3,000 mile DeLorean that is mint yeah. condition. So totally he's, mint. Unbelievable. He is working on that car today and getting that thing clean. So, Bob, man, we love you, man. We miss you. And yeah, uh, we'll I get know you'll be back in the garage here very soon. Oh, well, yeah. All right. So, what we're going to do here is we're actually going to mount these up on top because what we're going to do in order to take this load instead of a lot of times on like a tank you would run the tracks around here then drop down and have some type of suspension we're actually going to put these up on top just like this just to be able to bring the tracks up here uh, and then we can kind of take a link out of the tracks if need be but then we're going to mount these up on top here to be able to put the board on top then it's electronics time and this is this is where it's going to the fun part for me i mean i love building but making things move hmm. So these are gonna go on here, then put the electronics on. We'll plug the motors into the motor controller, which we have right here. Now this is, a, this is an early prototype that I, I basically literally stole off one of my electronic engineer's desks. So I'm, I'm thinking it's gonna work, we'll see. So it's a four motor controller that will control all four of these motors and give it proportional forward and reverse so we can go super slow, super fast, and anything in between. So these are our clamping hubs called hyper hubs. So they can go on and they're easy to adjust quickly and they're perfectly balanced for high speed. The only things we need literally to plug and play on this thing is our, our go build our new smart battery mount. So, so here we go into a commercial, right? I probably, I promise that I, this is the last time, but basically, you know, there's a lot of people that put like get a power wheels and they put their 20 volt battery on a power wheels. Well, you can screw these batteries up, whether it's a DeWalt or Milwaukee 18 volt or 20 volt or 24 volt. Um, you can mess these batteries up if you discharge them all the way. And so if you get on Amazon or eBay, you'll see different mounts for these things. Well, they, they suck because they just give you the voltage out of these things. And there's no way to control them with a, with a chip or a computer. But so we came out with our systems. You can build things like this. This is a smart battery dock. So basically you can plug this thing in. You got an XT90, which will handle 90 amps out. You can turn this thing on. You've got all kinds of different parameters here. You can not necessarily set, but read fault codes that has over voltage protection or amp protection, all that kind of stuff. So this is the backbone of literally making anything go build a, build a move. And we haven't even, you guys are getting, we haven't even launched this yet. So this is like a sneak peek. And I hopefully at work, my, my uh, men and women at work that um, are amazing, they're not gonna get mad at me, which they probably will, so I apologize ahead of time for showing products on <laughs> Epicenter Garage before they're actually released to the public. So now we can, bam, 
20 volts, right like that. And then it goes right into our motor controller there. And we're gonna mount our motor controller. Like I said, this is completely exposed, which the production versions are not. So once again, you guys at work, I'm really sorry that I'm showing things before they should actually be officially shown. The majority of all the aluminum we make our products out of mm -hmm. is 7000 series. So it's a, say an aircraft grade or it's a really strong aluminum. Let's hook the electronics up because we got to just mm -hmm. dial in the motor deal real quick. So let's do this. So what we want to do is uh, we, uh, we want to put the bolt heads out. So let's do this, Ben. Line this one out. Uh oh. Well, hopefully, I got all those correct. Catch me. Here. Huh. Okay. Right. Hold on. Oh, Hold on. There, there we, we go. go. Oh, thread the needle. Come on. Okay. Drum roll. Here we go, people. We're going to go slow. Oh, nice. Oh, look baby. at that. There's no turning back now. Oh, I drilled those holes pretty good. I, I oversized them because I knew this wasn't a critical part and I made, wanted to make sure this actually did work. Oh, that's it's nuts. money. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> this, was the stop. It's okay. this is the first time dockers have ever been on tracks like this. You know that. that you well, trust me? Yeah, I do. Don't dump me. I, Seriously, I'll go, I'll do not slow. dump me. I'll go, I'll go slow. You okay. ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go slow. You ready? Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, he's off. Oh, that thing stops quick. All right, here we go. Oh, oh too much weight on the back. <laughs> <laughs> did you say I wheelied? You did do it. I, I did a wheelie. That much air right there. That's something. Oh, oh yeah. Oh look at that. You can go super slow. Oh Test. yeah. Load that corn on. Oh. Ah. Easy. All right. Ah. There we see. Look at that. Then you, oh, that's the delivery system. I know the first modification we need to do. Poof. Railing. All right. Ready? Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh. All right, you guys, that about wraps it up. I think we accomplished what we needed to do. You guys, if you like, well, uh, you know, garden cart building, please subscribe. It is a lot of fun. fun. Yeah, we'll have more projects to come. That's right. It's about yeah, time I got to get going home. It's going to be so. crazy. Yeah, I got to get home too. All right, man. All right, man. Good Take time. Care. All right. <laughs> Don't run over me. Take care.